people who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. The morality of compromise sounds contradictory. Compromise is usually a sign of weakness or an admission of defeat. Strong men don't compromise, it is said, and principles should never be compromised. The man who acquires the ability to take full possession of his own mind may take possession of anything else to which he is justly entitled. Think of yourself as on the threshold of unparalleled success. A whole, clear, glorious life lies before you. Achieve. Achieve. Immense power is acquired by assuring yourself in your secret reveries that you were born to control affairs. I shall argue that strong men, conversely, know when to compromise and that all principles can be compromised to serve a greater principle. You must capture and keep the heart of the original and supremely able man before his brain can do its best. No man will make a great leader who wants to do it all himself or get all the credit for doing it. And while the law of competition may be sometimes hard for the individual, it is best for the race, because it ensures the survival of the fittest in every department. The average person puts only 25% of his energy and ability into his work. The world takes off its hat to those who put in more than 50% of their capacity, and stands on its head for those few and far between souls who devote 100%. Surplus wealth is a sacred trust which its possessor is bound to administer in his lifetime for the good of the community. Every act you have ever performed since the day you were born was performed because you wanted something. Concentrate your energies your thoughts and your capital. The wise man puts all his eggs in one basket and watches the basket. He that cannot reason is a fool. He that will not is a bigot. He that dare not is a slave. The way to become rich is to put all your eggs in one basket and then watch that basket. 